All right, guys, today we're going to talk about a handful of small USA knife makers that are worth checking out and pretty darn cool. Now, I don't necessarily have this list ranked in best to worst or who I'd choose first, but I'm just going to be randomly picking them up and talking about them. And the first one I'm going to talk about, maybe because it is kind of cool, is Paragon knives or Asheville steel. These are the guys that were pretty well known for the knife I'm holding here. This is the Phoenix and of course the Warlock, which is essentially the double-edged dagger version of this knife or it uses the same kind of gravity uh, deployment. But these guys, they still do make knives to this day and they are still making a version two of the Phoenix, the Warlock. They're a little bit different, a little bit more fancy. They use an updated steel, but these guys do make their products all in the USA. And if you're looking for something that's unique and different this is a pretty good choice now another really cool company that has definitely been out there for a little while similar to Asheville Steel is going to be Mantis Knives now this one is in particular their fly switch and they make a handful of ballast songs that I don't think many people know about these guys are pretty cool they do have a you know a quick blade exchange feature but these guys once again are making knives in the US like these ballast songs that are you know honestly pretty cool and i feel like no one ever talks about mantis knives these guys never get any attention but they are out there they do make some really cool knives and are definitely worth checking out especially if you're looking for ballast songs i think like these are some of the coolest ballast songs out there because of that blade exchange feature and uh yeah so anyways that is mantis knives next one up i think we're going to go with is tour knives now tour is i want to say a reasonably new knife maker I can't exactly remember when they started making knives. I know it's definitely like late 20 teens, but this one here is of course the Chasm. And the Chasm is a smaller Tanto kind of, almost like self-defense kind of knife, but still very good for EDC. It takes a lot, at least in the handle, it takes a lot of inspiration from the Sabenza by Chris Reeve Knives. And you know, some people may not like that, but honestly, I think it's a good thing because you're copying a really, really solid design and overall it's very hard to go wrong with. So that is the Tour Chasm. Now let's talk about the last one that might be a little bit less niche and that is going to be McNeese Knives. <laughs> McNeese knives and this one is of course the Mac 2. This is a three inch so it is a little bit on the small side but that is totally okay. Like I said the Mac 2 is probably what McNeese is known best for and you can see that this thing is buttery buttery smooth and it absolutely has a very tight um, detent to it so you can override it if you want to open it and do a slow roll but this thing is also definitely very flickable and it has a very hard detent for a fast deployment and then of course you have that absolute guillotine shut um, close on the action so this guy is you know it's kind of takes a lot of similarities and you know a lot of it's kind of design ethos from Chris Reeve knives and the Sabenza but has definitely McNeese has gone their own way with the Mac 2 and it is very much its own product. So it's another really cool company. Unfortunately, McNeese doesn't have a lot of variation. So with other companies like Mantis, with um, Tour, you know, they have a lot of different things like fixed blades and other such, you know, knives that, um, and other such knives that might cater to your fancy. So unfortunately, McNeese and Paragon, they kind of are, you know, what they are, like they produce what they do very well, but uh, if it, they don't, if they aren't what you want, then you might be a little bit let down. All right, now let's talk about the two that probably have my attention the most of all, even though Mantis is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, is going to be first off TRM. So this is Three Rivers Machining Manufacturing, and these guys are another really small USA company. And this one in the next company I am about to talk about really have my attention because they are companies that put a heavy emphasis on making everything either in-house or in the US. So everything from the blade steel that's sourced to the like um, locking mechanism here, everything is American made and either made in-house by TRM or sourced from American manufacturers. So if you are one of those people who is USA proud, and once again, you know, that may be arguable, you might not be, but if you are one of those people, TRM is totally worth checking out, whether it's something like the shadow that you see here, or whether it's one of the atoms, neutrons, or other designs that they have. 
so they have a few designs nothing too crazy once again kind of like tour or kind of like uh, mcnees you know they do have a handful of designs that they've mastered but that does not mean that they're bad at all and like i said i really love that they put that heavy emphasis on you know everything sourcing from the u.s so once again you may not like that you may not care but if that is important to you it is really cool okay the next one has the name kind of implies so this is an abw model one in magna cut and a worn cliff so abw stands for american blade works and this guy of course is their model one and this one is in a newer blade shape of theirs the uh, worn cliff it's a very heavily worn cliff blade still very pokey at the end so it's not a sheep's foot but almost getting towards sheep's foot with how sloped the blade is and of course the handle is in Ultem or Ultem however you want to say that it's that weird kind of honey colored looking plastic and it's very unique very um, kind of new agey I guess you could say because a lot of knife companies are love working her are loving working in Ultem and in Magna Cut so definitely very hip but once again this one too is or I should say ABW as a whole is very proud of being 100% manufactured in the U.S. you can even see hopefully I can kind of get close up on this one you can see right about here on the pivot it does say made in the usa and of course as you'd expect with american blade works being the name of the company they are very proud of being able to make everything either in-house or in the u.s so once again a very um, us oriented knife company that is pretty small the only thing i kind of dislike about trm and abw is the fact that it can be very hard to get their knives it can be very hard to track them down but when you can track them down you know you're getting a really solid american-made product so anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed this short video breaking down six brands sorry, five brands that are definitely made in the U.S. and are lesser known about or smaller USA brands. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.